early in the seasons. The points are very hard to gauge off of who will be good and who will not be contending for the championship at season's end. This year is no exception with Eric Almirola and Matt Benedetto both being outside the top 25 in points and both the JTG Daughtery Racing cars would be in the playoffs as of now. But still, nearly a fifth of the entire regular season has been elapsed. The reason for early season strength or struggles can many times be attested to bad luck or good luck. One driver has impressed me a lot this season with top 10 speed in each race when I didn't think he'd even make the playoffs, but uh, he looks like he'll either make it in by a win or point his way in based on the speed he's shown. However, he does find himself 20th in the points. This is the curious case of Cole Custer. As in my opinion, I think he's been the unluckiest driver through the first five races of the season. And this is with his struggles at the end of last season, finishing the lowest out of all playoff drivers. Now that was because he got a kind of lucky win at Kentucky. But Eric Almirola also struggled at the end of last season and has at the beginning of this season as well. And to start off the season, he is 20th in points, and he was outside the top 20 in points last season at this time. But when you look at Cole Custer, he doesn't have much hype around him. But he only won the Rookie of the Year award because he did what Tyler Reddick couldn't do in that sort of race. At Daytona, he was running third in line after a great pit stop. Behind the guy on his teammate Kevin Harvick, all he needs to do is to stay in third and wait till make a move at the end like Michael McDowell did. But he stealed his doom with 11 laps to go by jumping out of line to block a run on the bottom that never worked in the race and which is why it was so bad. Before the stupid caution at the Daytona Road Course, Cole Custer was running 9th in the top 10 and finished 13th. It still ended up being a decent day, but still not a uh, top 10 and not as good as what he would have done. Then at Homestead, Cole Custer is running in the top 5, but then Tyler Reddick charges by him for the 5th position. Custer is sitting in 6th, but then with 2 laps to go, he blows a tire at a track with high tire wear at the end of a long run and finishes 23rd. Now, Las Vegas, Stuart Haas was terrible. Consider Kevin Harvick barely managed to get a top 20. So it's really the team at fault for his 25th place finish there. Then at Phoenix, Cole Custer was battling for a top 15, so not a great finish, but you know, decent, a uh, decent points today, so you don't get yourself into a hole. Before Bubba Wallace puts, makes a bonehead move by putting him into the wall and finishes four laps down in 31st. So while he doesn't have a single top 10, Cole Custer has definitely shown some speed, and if he can get the results to match his speed. He will definitely make the playoffs in my opinion. But the problem is, can he do that? That's what we've been saying for Ryan Blaney's whole career. So for you Cole Custer fans, I'd be optimistic, yet cautiously. Doesn't look like Cole Custer will have a sophomore slump of what I've seen. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Once again, thanks for 1,000 subscribers. See you!